even though this isn't a horror film, I'm going to talk about Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, the second installment of the classic franchise, mainly because it has scary elements. It's got a much darker tone than its predecessor, Raiders of the Lost Ark, and even got Harrison Ford to reprise his role as the great adventure hero. The film takes place a year before its predecessor. Indy escapes from crime boss Lao Chi in Shanghai along with nightclub singer Willie Scott and his 11-year-old sidekick Shortbound. They board a plane, which turns out to be Lao's plane, which starts to crash land, but the three manage to get out of there. They soon find themselves in an Indian village, not the Native American kind, but in the country of India. The people of the village are in deep melancholy because their children were stolen and their sacred lingam stone, which Indy believes is one of the five St. Car stones that promised fortune and glory. This means that Indy and his company must retrieve the stone and the missing village children from the thuggy cult that worship Cali, led by the high priest Mola Ram. Why is this a scary movie? Well, first off, just look at the setting. Doesn't this give you the chills? Also, there's a scene where Mola Ram rips out the heart of a human sacrifice. Before you ask, this film was rated PG. That's right, this film came out a couple months before the PG-13 rating came into place. It might be one of the prime reasons, along with another film, Gremlins, which came out the same year. Due to the complaints, the director, Steven Spielberg, contacted the Motion Picture Association of America, telling them to alter their rating system, and in a couple of months, the PG-13 rating was created. Out of all the Indiana Jones films, this one is my personal favorite. For many people, favorites may be Raiders of the Lost Ark or The Last Crusade, but I like this one the best. Maybe it's the dark tone, maybe it's the villain, maybe it's the intense action that surrounds it. I don't know, I just find this one to be the most entertaining and it has all the nostalgic factor I need. Mm -hmm.